and we're back for part two of Aquarius. Um, since you're watching part two, go check out part one. It will be uh, in the timestamps in the description box below and in the comment section below. It has Aries through Capricorn there. Okay, and here I'm going to do Aquarius, Pisces. Probably spend a little bit more time on you guys since y'all accidentally got it cut off. I'm so sorry. It, I was so hungry. Let me just tell you what happened. This is what happened. What happened was, okay, I was doing the video and then all of a sudden I was like, I'm starving. <laughs> I need to go eat right now. And so I paused it and then I went and I ate. And when I came back, it had timed out. I wasn't even gone like 20, not even 20 minutes. So I'm really sorry about that. So I'm going to give you guys a little extra time, okay, for Aquarius and Pisces. And I'll also have the runes messages here the zodiac signs you could be dealing with but not limited to and also guidance but if you want to see uh the other signs or the your other placements sun moon rising venus especially moon sign go over there okay all right so aquarius that is the little intro okay so aquarius let's get back to you honey 19 okay all right aquarius sun moon rising venus and mars placements um don't forget to like share comment subscribe um hit all notifications that way you know the next time i upload definitely check out your other placements especially your moon sign in part one unless you have pisces in your chart okay and um don't forget to go and check out part one for the intro about um the moon itself because it's about accumulation anticipation revelations endings completions um, but for some reason I keep feeling like it's about magic too. It's like a very magical moon. I, I don't know if that's, a, I just keep feeling that it's a magical moon. I don't know why it just keeps coming through. It keep, I keep, I keep, I keep getting chills every time I say it. It's a magical moon. Maybe it's something important. Um, I forget what, um, well, it's the beaver moon, full moon, but some people call it the morning moon. There's important revelations about you, your, about yourself, to yourself, and about others around you. Um, there's going to be a lot of revealing, okay, with this with this um, full moon for some reason. I don't know why. But they're not telling me why, but okay, let's keep going. So let's see what this full moon in Gemini is going to be bringing you, okay? Which is, uh, the full moon is on the 27th of uh, November. It is in Gemini, a fellow air sign. It's really going to hit Sagittarius and Gemini pretty good, but it, it will affect everybody, though. So definitely check out where you have Sagittarius and or Gemini in your chart, if you have it anywhere. Um, that's where you're going to feel it the most. Okay. What's going on for Aquarius? I'm going to give you a little extra time. You and Pisces, okay? And then I'm going to do, spend a little extra time on the runes. Those are always fun. I might add something else to it, too. Haven't decided yet. What's going on for Aquarius, please? This full moon in Gemini for Aquarius. Solace. Okay, comfort is coming. Oh, okay. Are you been going through something? Looks like you're very sad. Number 35 breaks down to 8. So that could be August. So that could be Leo or Virgo. And it can also be 8th house, which could be Scorpio. Um, you're sad. Okay. What's going on? Or someone around you is very sad. We got greening. You are a natural. And then you got step. Be, don't be afraid to move and change. got chills on this two messages first message um either you're going through a very like deep depression and i'm really sorry because that's really hard um it might help i'm not a mental health professional but it might help to get outside in the sunshine a little bit also talk to your doctor about vitamin d deficiency that is a real thing okay and you got 22 for greening and two for step so you know Two, two, two. Balancing something out, making a choice. You're very sad about a choice, you or somebody else. If that's what it feels like. Second message, okay? You could have somebody around you that could be going through this. But something needs to change. I feel 
like you might have a really green thumb and you don't even realize it. Like growing plants, herbs, vegetables, um, maybe just really beautiful roses or something. You're something got to get out in nature. Get out, get some sunshine because I feel like that might actually help a little bit. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, so definitely talk to your doctor. But, you know, or it might be time to talk to a doctor. There's nothing, there's no shame in that. Right? It's it's great self-care. Okay? But there's something about you need, needing to change something, okay? Or someone around you needs to change something. Getting out in nature, maybe doing like some brisk exercise in the sun. Weather permitting, of course, if you're, you know, physically able to do so. Talk to a doctor. Talk to a therapist. There's nothing wrong with it. It's actually very good um, self-care and self-healing self, um, practices, okay? Comfort is coming. You're sad, okay? Intuition. Follow your heart. Trust. Navigate challenges. Okay, I know why you're sad. You're sad because you feel like it's time to leave someone behind? Yeah. Transformation, rebuild, lasting change, shaping your future. Because you know that something or someone is no longer part of your future. You intuitively know this. And it's making you very sad. You don't want to be without this person. But it's time. I don't know what's happened. Okay. Something, okay. Greening, you are a natural time. Right timing, quick and soon. It'll, okay, so greening, when you grow, when you have new growth, right, sometimes you got to cut away the old stuff or the dead stuff that is hindering the, the, the plant from getting the nutrients that it needs to grow bigger. So I feel like you're, I don't mean like you do that to people, but I mean like you're starting to cut out or cut off things that are, I heard dead weight. And I don't mean like literally, I mean like, you know, metaphorically speaking, of course. Or, okay, labyrinth, spiritual path, inner work and journey. This, the part of your journey, the time has come for the part of the journey where this person is included has come to an end. Uh, okay. It's like tingling right here for me. And like my nose is like, tick, like tickled. You need to talk about this with this person. Mm-hmm. You don't know how to say it, though. That's the thing. You don't know how to say it. You don't want to be hurtful to this person. You do care about them. Don't be afraid just to move and change. Yeah, you got restoring. Rest and relax. Harmony. Reconnect with yourself. I feel like that you came to a, a, a junction in your journey here where you up a fork in the road. You're coming out of crossroads here. Where you have to make a choice. Do I go left or do I go right? Do I go straight forward? You know? But when you look at each path... Whether you're going straight, or you're making a left, or you're making a right, you don't see this person there anymore. I don't know why yet, but I feel like this is like a a, a part of your evolution, right? Like you want to go and explore, you want to go and travel, maybe you want to see new things, meet new people. This person has their, I hate to say it, they're kind of holding you back. I hate to say it like that. Potion, compulsion, mastery, and healing. See, you are coming into a level where you want to master yourself. You know, like you're healing, doing the things, you know, learning about yourself. Maybe you're into moon magic or something. You know, you're really learning a lot and exploring a lot of different things, right? And that's okay. This person is kind of stuck in the past and they don't want to change that. I feel like, okay, for some of you, you have enabled this person a lot. And I feel like that's, ooh, yeah, I got chills in that. That's what you're starting to realize is you have really enabled this person to not step up in their own life. It's kind of codependency. Ooh, I got chills big time on that. Mm hmm This is true. This is very true. What is your intuition telling you? It's telling you to transform your life, but I feel like it's making you sad because you don't, you realize it may not 
you're almost at the completion of a cycle with this person. You're at an eight. You're almost at a nine. See the Empress here. This could be you. This could be Taurus, Libra, Cancer, maybe. Somebody here, whether it's you or them, I feel like more so it's you. You're very, uh, you're trying to plant new seeds. You are trying to wait for, you've been waiting on this person for quite some time to get it together. They have yet to do so. And they're hindering your growth and transformation. Yeah. They're fighting against it. They bring too much drama. Five of Wands. They're bringing way too much drama to your life. You're starting to see the light about this. Okay. They're they're filled with too much drama. They they, they bring too much chaos to the situation, to you, to your to your situation. Right? Oh my gosh. And you feel like it's time to go. Your intuition, like the high priestess to me, and for me, now that's just me speaking, um, in the tarot is the high priestess is the empress and all four queens for me. So you're you're about to go to a whole other level. And this person doesn't want you to do it. Or for my masculine Aquarius, you're trying to keep a Taurus from ex expanding. That's not really good. But I get more so that's a feminine that this is happening to. Yeah, see, healing and balance here with the temperance card is time to heal. It's time to bring something into balance. There is expansion. There's growth here. But whomever you're dealing with, I feel like it's a romantic level, but it could be friends or something. They're holding you back. Their, their part of the journey has ended for you. Justice, it, that's the truth. This is fair right and if you stick around much longer and i'm not trying to tell you what to do obviously you have free will you got to make your own choices live your own life whatever whatever right what i'm saying is that if you keep on entertaining this person's debbie downer or it's not even that this is like it's like almost like it's not even that they're having real depression although i'm not a doctor so please go to the doctor or they need to go to the doctor this person is, they don't want to change anything because you've been doing everything for them. They're, they're very codependent on you. Mm-hmm. I'm cold. Oh, give me one second. I'm cold. I don't even know where my sweater is. Hold on one second. Well, couldn't find my sweater. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> but it feels like, it's not that they're a bad person. I don't feel like they're a bad person. I just feel like this person is stuck in the past and in a, a cyclical loop, a cycle, a loop of self-pity with no accountability and no responsibility because they haven't had to take any because you've always been there to pick up the slack and protect them from consequences. That's not helping them, Aquarius. You're protecting somebody from their own consequences of their own, by their own choices is hindering them. That's enabling them to continue to stay in this cyclical self-defeating self-fulfilling defeatist self-pity cycle loop and you're done like you're so tired Whew. it's very neurotic i guess or neurosis and it's not good for you you know it's time to bring in some type of balance for yourself right and if this and i feel like you might be giving this person like an ultimatum honestly you might give them like an ultimatum like if they don't you know start making steps towards health mental health included especially and emotional well-being you can't do it anymore this person might have a drinking problem possibly as well I feel like you might be giving someone an ultimatum here, honestly. Or they have some sort of a compulsive behavior. You're trying to reconnect with yourself and step into your personal power. Look, Two of Cups, I'm telling you, it, and this is like a shadowy deck. Not like a shadow, like it's bad, but I mean like the shadow side, right, of what can happen. So you're trying to bring in balance for yourself, right? And that's good. You do a lot of this self-reflecting at night, I feel. 
Maybe you're having trouble sleeping, so try to get some sleep, okay, if you can. If you have trouble with that, definitely go to the doctor. But, like, you see, like, you know, in order for you to restore, to restore your sense of self, right, you got to let this one go. Because you're not, it's not going anywhere. Even if you're married, it's still not, it's stagnant. It's not going anywhere. It hasn't changed. You've given this person plenty of time to do some healing work that they've refused. You've also told them they need to stop drinking. They've continued. Yeah. See, the star. And it's got you. You're not even shining right now. And I am not judging you. Okay, Aquarius, I'm not judging you. Okay? Like, I, I, I've been through a deep depression before for, like, three years. Um... It was pretty bad. Um, you know, I don't talk about it very much. It, I, well, I do talk about it a little bit on my channel, but it you can say it's depression, spiritual awakening. I straight got molly whopped <laughs> by the universe because I was being stubborn. Yep. <laughs> and I got kind of Buddha palmed, pressed into the earth until I was on my stomach crying, begging, pleading, bargaining, you know, with, with God, basically. But I had to sit there and deal with my stuff. And then, you know, I still got, still got stuff I got to work on, but it took me a minute. It was pretty, um, pr pretty hardcore parkour, you know? So I understand that. However, at a certain point, you got to start getting up. Even if it's like small things. To start, like making a bed, doing some dishes, uh, you know, brushing your hair, brushing your teeth, like the basics. Like this person, if it isn't you, this person is going to be at the very, very basics, okay? And that's okay. I, but I also feel like they've been in these basic fundamentals for maybe two or three years for some of you. And they're not really changing. So you wish to depart from it. I feel like you're going to give this person a chance, obviously. You're going to tell them, hey, if you don't get help, get therapy, stop drinking, start doing whatever it is, compulsive. We have to go our separate ways then. What will happen if, if Le uh, Libra, maybe you're doing a Libra, I don't know. What would you happen if you told this to this person? Say, I got, well, I got Libra here. I got Aquarius. I got... Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Leo, Aries, Taurus, Vir, uh, Taurus, Libra, uh, could be Virgo, but Taurus, Libra, uh, Cancer, and Sagittarius as of right now. What would happen? Four of Wands get shut down, closed. They're going to shut down, close up, potentially. And you're going to, you might feel guilt or bad because you're telling them, you know, you might even start lying to this person and saying, yeah, I'll stay. It's fine. But really, you're deeply unhappy here, Aquarius. See, Four of Cups, like you're not even getting the love that you need or deserve. You're, you're, you're also not getting any younger. You know what I'm saying? You, were, you, at one point you did see a future, but you've grown old with this person. Right? You did. Seven swords. But this person is lying about holding themselves accountable. They they don't want to hold themselves accountable whatsoever. Now you don't see that future anymore because they refuse to hold themselves accountable. You know what I'm saying? Four of Cups. I see High Priestess here. Like, what I tell you? What I tell you? You're trying to get to this level. And part of you getting to the, because for me as a reader, the High Priestess, the High Priestess is the Empress. She is the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. All, all wrapped in one. Right? She's the Queen of the Underworld for six months. She's Persephone. She's Queen of the Underworld for six months. She's Queen of the Upper World during the springtime for six months. Right? So, she's the daughter of Demeter, I think that's right. Right? If I'm saying that right, I may not be saying that right. So, you know... You know it's time, but you hate to do it at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to do this. Let me see what outcome is going to be, though. Let's see, let's see if anything changes. I mean, like, I don't want to use this. Well, anything, what will be the outcome here? Like, this person is not holding themselves accountable 
about, you know, even if even if you got to take them to the doctor, they got to go. You know, they got to go to the doctor if they're not feeling well. They got medical stuff going on, mental health concerns, emotional stuff going on. They need to go to the doctor. They need to go to a therapist as well. You see what I'm saying? And there's there's nothing wrong with that. There's no shame in it. There really isn't. But this person is so reluctant, and they're very stubborn with the Four of Cups. They're very, very stubborn to go and get any help or to help with an addiction or some type of, you know, drinking or addiction or something, a compulsion of some kind. And there's no judgment to them. And you're staying married to them. You're only, if you are married to them you're all, or in some form of commitment, you're only lying to yourself. If that it's going to get better if they don't get help. It's not. Okay? I hate to be the... See? Four, 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 four of... What are the swords? See? You're going to end up pulling your energy back from this person. And then they're going to, you know, communicate very angrily to you. Why are you pulling back from me? You've got Sagittarius energy, your Gemini here. But the three of coins are like, don't you want to work things out? Don't you want to wait for me forever? And I hate to say it like that, but that's what I'm getting. Ace of Cups, don't you still love me? This person, because they won't take accountability and responsibility for their own well-being, physical, mental, emotional, I think you are falling out of love with them. Potentially. Anyone? Yeah, see, the fool, you want something, you want a new beginning, you want a fresh start. You do, I feel like you ultimately do want it with this person, but as, as each day goes by, this person talks about the same things over and over and over and over and over again. And it's getting really monotonous and it's becoming like a loop. They're trying to suck you into their loop. That you don't want to be in. This person could be also very careless with their words. Like they could talk to you really bad. Like they could call you out by your name. They could be very disrespectful too on top of it. Now granted people who. Now I'm not a doctor. It's not medical or mental health advice. But I know from personal experience. That you can be a little sharp or agitated when you're very depressed. You know you can be. But they got to work on it. And mean it and then do it but there haven't been but they're very reckless with their words yeah temperance they're saying I can heal we can heal we can work on this but they how many years has it been you see what I'm saying Queen of Cups here Ace of Cups you might actually still have love or you might be in love with the water sign okay or you know or you could be dealing with a water sign cancer Pisces here Right? I don't know. Look, the devil. See, this person is, they, listen. When this person's been, listen. Listen, Aquarius. Masculine or feminine, I don't know who I'm reading for. Somebody here, when they've been drinking or in their throes of their addiction, and I'm not judging anyone, okay? They become a totally different person. They talk to you any kind of way. They are disrespectful. Potentially could be even abusive. There could be a cancer Pisces that could be quite obsessed with you, though. I don't know what that's about, but that's a side message there. Yeah, Ace of Swords, bingo, bango, truth's been spoken here, right? So, uh, this person's like, well, I'll get help, I I'll, I'll go talk to somebody, but they never do. They never do, six of ones, and then you get your hopes up, only to have them dashed again, right? Yeah, because the magician, Virgo, Gemini, could be done with a Gemini, this person is manipulating you. Yeah, and you know it, you know it. You know it. King of Cups. They also like to manipulate other people. You, a Queen and King of Cups. You could be married to this individual, but you don't have to be. This person also might manipulate other people about you. And then manipulate that person with other people. Like this person is very manipulative. I, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's what you're noticing. Like this person is hella, hella manipulative and very controlling. But, but kind of like covertly controlling. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, it flies underneath the radar for, like, everybody else. But you've been around this person long enough, you can tell. So, yeah, I think you're done. 
you're done being played for a fool. You're done being manipulated. You're done. You're you're done being toyed with now. Anything else, please, for Aquarius? Miss Spiderweb says reconsider your alliances, make new connections. I told you. You know, like this is too much. It is. It's too much. You know what I mean? Like they just. They don't want to get help for nothing. And I feel like you've tried. Like you, you care about this person. You, you care about the world being and everything. But like you can only but do this so much. You can bring a horse to the water, but you can't make it drink, right? And this person doesn't want to drink water. They want to drink alcohol. Or whatever it is their their vice is. You know. So I feel like you're done with this. Because you're not about that life. Uh -uh, not anymore, anyways. Yeah, see, kids, Kitsu, uh, Kitsune, or Kit, I know how to say it, but I can't say it right now. Kitsune says, I will show you whom to trust. Another two. So you got four twos, two, two, two. Right? You don't trust this person. You, you don't want to get caught up in their web of lies and self deception anymore and manipulation. You got your imaginary friend, childhood treasures, and resurface. This person, you have fond memories of this person, but you realize that you can't even trust your memories with this person because they're so manipulative and controlling. Yeah. Little brother, little sister, siblings, your younger friends, responsibility. You look at this person as like a little sister or a little brother or whatever your preferences are. You don't even look at them in a romantic way anymore. Mm -mm. No. The unending sadness of looking back, endless regret, obsessive grief, Repeating the past, negative nostalgia. See, this is what this person lives in. They live in that. Again, I'm going to say it again. They live in this, what I'm about to read. The ending, the unending sadness of looking back. They live in the past, 100%. They don't live in the present or the future, only the past. And they say, and it says, endless regret, obsessive grief, obsessive. Replaying the past and negative nostalgia. I feel like this person does this. And you shouldn't probably trust them or it because it gets them a lot of attention as part of their manipulation tactic, I guess. Yeah, and then you got the hedgehog love, positive, uplifting new friends. That's what you want. That's what you want. That's what you need. Something refreshing. You look at this person as more like a sibling or a child than you do a partner, a husband, a wife. Yeah. Yeah. Draggling garden a new world is born that's what you want you want something new you want something inventive innovative you know do more things uh, you know do something more collective wise you're sick of this and you're not judging them and you you're doing your best not to but it's like how like i'm not going to get sucked into this with you again that's what i'm here i'm not going to get sucked into this with you again it says the mermaid and the turtle an elder will teach you see they expect you to teach them it's not your job husband wife does not matter it is their job to deal with themselves now does that mean if you were to leave that it never came back it never comes back together again no i mean sure it can but what i mean i mean if that's what y'all want but they gotta deal with their stuff man or woman, whomever I'm reading for. A mermaid in a, in a koi pond. Rediscover your individual, become the dragon. See, that's the thing. Like this, you have become so enmeshed with this person. You're such an enabler. It's toxic. Right? And I'm not judging you. But that's what you're in. Okay? They are benefiting off of you, enabling them, and they're never going to get right. This person's got to hit rock bottom. They, they need to. It says, strange companions in stranger places, challenges, use your imagination. Like, you know this is going to be an issue. you got the Orca magic, the Akashic Library is open. See, you, this, you've already fulfilled your contract with this person. You already fulfilled it. How much more can they possibly need or want from you? And you're not, you're not happy. You're not. Mm-mm. You know, so I feel I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but I feel like you got a choice to make. I mean, clearly you got a choice to make. You know, but you know, I 
This person is manipulating your emotions. They get emotion or attention from you and then they hold back. And then when the next person comes around, let's say a family member, friend comes over, oh, it's like, woe is me, and oh my gosh, and and then that person leaves and it's done. This person is such a manipulator, they're a master manipulator. I feel like it's a woman, but it could be a man. You need to access your, your power, Aquarius, for real person is draining you emotionally mentally spiritually and possibly even financially you have choices that you need to make that are not easy and not light light decisions you know what I mean like if you know I, I for your sake and theirs I do hope that they get it together I do let's ask do they ever get it together Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hey, that belongs. Okay. All right. Let's see. Does this person that Aquarius is dealing with and or thinking of ever get it together? Do they ever get the help that they need? Do they ever go? Do they ever go to get help? Okay, I got two. Try again. So no. They don't really ever get it together. But mm -hmm, they're gonna tell you that they went and got help, but really they didn't. So. Based on that, don't make any life changing or altering decisions based on a general tale reading. Maybe you need to get an actual reading. It doesn't have to be with me, but it can be with somebody. But somebody here needs to really weigh out the pros and cons. What is the next five years going to look like for you? For you specifically. Is this something you can deal with? Is this something you can live with if it never changes? If so, carry on. If not, might be time to consider because you always have two choices. You always got a choice. Right? Might be time to think about that. All right. Well, that's what I got for you. And I'll be back for uh, Pisces in one second. Hey, Pisces. Welcome to your full moon and Gemini reading. Um, you could have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mars placements. Um, definitely go check out part one for your other placements as well. And for the intro about the giveaways and um, sales I'm going to be doing for December. Okay? Um, yeah, the other video kind of timed out on me, so I apologize. All right, let's see. What's going on for Pisces, please, for this full moon in Gemini? Let me fix my chair. Let's see, what's going on for Pisces, this full moon? Okay, uncomfortable. Your back could be hurting you. Maybe. What's going on for Pisces, please? Cocoon, consider consider your source. Okay. Number four, stability and protection. Um, give me one more. For Pisces, please. Why is cocoon here? Consider your source here, please, for Pisces. Greening, you're a natural. Okay. Number twenty-two. Master builder number. So with with uh, consider your source. Be careful of gossip, please, around this um, full moon. I don't know if someone's gossiping about you, or you're gossiping about somebody. But it's like you have something that's really starting to grow or blossom or like expand, I guess. Right? Reach new levels, new heights. Right? There's somebody around you that is gossiping about it, and or they're not really happy. You know, like those types of people that say they're happy for you, but really they're not really happy for you. They're kind of jealous, right? That's what you got around you. And also, if somebody could be coming to you with some type of gossip, make sure that you can consider the source. Okay, that's a lot of cards. All right, so we got Rocky Shore, Bumpy Ride, Uncertain Outcome, Stay the Course, though. Don't let it stop you from whatever it is you're about to do, Pisces. It could be something really big for you, you know, really emotional. Protection, see? See? Natural go nature, nurture goals, set, uh, get support and hold your boundaries. Like, don't, if somebody comes to you talking crap about somebody else, consider the source and why they're saying it to you. And if they'll say something, 
about this person when you're around, when you're not around, and they will say the same thing about you, right? And then you also got time, right timing, quick and soon, and restoring, protection, rest and relax, reconnect with yourself. So this, it's time, it, it feels like, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but it feels like it may be time for you to start cutting off these very chatty Cathy's, these, you know, wash women type of gossipers, right? What are you natural at? Okay, third eye, intuition, clarity, and vision. It's like you already know that somebody's talking crap about you. I don't know who it is, but you're, you know. Give me an Ursan, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ambition, high ideals, realistic goals, reaching objectives. You can see what what's what's happening down the road right and it looks good communion commun communing connection with spirit and divine download so you might be a, a spiritualist here be very talented uh, psychic possibly so you know what's coming or maybe you've honed it you know you've really you're a natural psychic and you know when somebody's talking bad about you i feel like it could be who's talking about you gemini libra aquarius a cancer maybe another pisces Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And with the red here, it could be an Aries, maybe a Leo. Okay. Yeah, Rose, love, passion, enduring. So you want an enduring, loving relationship that is supportive of your dreams and your goals and your ambitions. Not one that's going to, it's not going to, not one that's going to like stunt your growth. Right? Or this could be the cross watcher. I don't know. You want to expand things, right? You want to build things, do do stuff, right? You're a master builder. Someone is coming in telling you something that may not be 100% true. What is this gossip about? See, about a sexual connection or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Be careful. Consider your source. Okay, protection. Confusion, Seven of Cups. Somebody here might have had a lot of options here. Might be sleeping around, or maybe someone's telling you that they're gonna, someone's gonna cheat on you. They might. I don't know. I do have the Ace of Seat Shadow. They could. They could have a shot. Yeah. You might. You might need to consider what they're saying. But again, trust but verify, right? And check motives. This person, their actions that they're taking is trying to cause confusion here. But look, with the Eight of Swords here, you are freeing yourself from some type of shadowy aspect of yourself or possibly, you know, a sex addiction. Or somebody is. Nine of Pentacles here. Somebody here, Virgo energy. Somebody here likes to act uh, real single when they're not with the uh, with you. Or this person, this is what they're telling you. Justice here. Somebody might be getting out of jail. Eight of Swords, but see, this is different. This is a dip. You're confused by how somebody was able to get out of jail, but they're out of jail. They're they're abundant here. But look, see, maybe somebody got off on a tech. I'm not a lawyer. They're not legal advice. Somebody got off on a technicality, maybe. I don't know. Or they will be. But you see the Eight of Swords here with the Justice card, right? But you see this Eight of Swords is this person freeing themselves. So somebody could actually be getting, you know, free, free. From prison, from prison, right? But you're a little confused about how this even happened. But none, nevertheless, it's happening. This person's very abundant. They're good on their own. So are you. And I feel like you actively want, actually want to be with this person. Okay. Intuition. Tower. Okay. There could be like family or friends or somebody around this person. A lot of people around this person telling them that's a bad idea or telling you that it's a bad idea. With the tower here, Aries, Scorpio here. I don't, I mean, is it though? The Empress though. Somebody here wants to, okay. Somebody here wants, you're going from Nine of Pentacles to the Empress. Okay. That's pre-Empress to Empress. So you're, you might be getting married. Okay. But you got a lot of naysayers here. I feel like I'm, I don't know your life. I don't know your life. I don't know this relationship. It might, it might be really good. I don't know. You're very connected to this person. And it says love, passion, enduring. I don't have, you know. Somebody here is very jealous, though. See, eight of wands. 
Someone is trying to talk you out of this, but it looks good thus far. I don't see any issues here. Could be getting married. Yeah, Eight of Cups are telling you this person's going to leave you. You're going to end up leaving them. I mean, I feel like you're walking away from naysay nays naysayers. I feel like that might be a good idea. Honestly. Because... You got people around you that are not supportive. Maybe even jealous. And something's really growing here. And nevertheless, it's your life to live. Nobody else's. What's the outcome here? So be careful of gossipers. Okay. Look, see? You know the risk involved. Okay, that's what I want to say. So you're going to keep this relationship secret. You're not going to tell anybody about this anymore because you know what? Nobody supports you. You are looking into things though a little bit because you want to make sure you're making the right choice. Okay. But you're doing it quietly and in secret. Mm -hmm. You are being a little slick about it though, Pisces. Okay. And then, but you see that you do want this though. So, okay. You're communicating. I'm telling you, look. Look, watch the gossipers. Look, wa watch them. Okay, look. Watch the gossipers. Watch the gossiping. Right? Don't get involved in it. Because it can it can turn change your mind. You're gonna accept the offer. Okay, cool. So you're gonna get married. And look, here you here you become. Right? The empress. Right? But you might be getting married in secret. Someone's getting out of jail. But you still wonder if this person has a connection with this Queen of Wands. Wait, this is... It was right here. It was in between. It was like this. You wonder if this King of Wands is still going to juggle you with this Queen of Wands. There's a little doubt there. Well, let's find out. Is this person that Pisces is thinking of and are dealing with going to juggle them? Let me get a different deck. Hold on. Where is it? Let me see. Let me see. Will this person that Pisces is um, dealing with and are thinking of really going to juggle them if they marry them? Page of Cups, they're going to offer you love and friendship as well. Okay. You will worry about it though. You'll, you will worry about this. They could be younger than you. But you have a soulmate type of connection with this person and they are your wish fulfillment. It's what you've always wanted with this person. For a long time, for a long time, you may get like cold feet though. You will definitely get cold feet, five of pentacles. I feel like, but I feel like that's if you listen to the gossip though. Look, eight of wands, if, like I said, if you listen to the gossip about the past, it'll be very slow to get your wish fulfillment here because you're going to be kind of stuck in your head. So, I'm just going to say, do what you want and what you feel is best for you, whatever that is. If it's this person, great. If it's not, then also great. Whatever that is for you. Anything else, please, for Pisces, before I move on to the runes? Once upon a midnight dreary, creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow. This person, like, gets her motor going, okay? Yeah, Orca Magic, the Akashic Libraries are open. See, you, you, there's something about you guys having some type of connection. Okay. And you got your imaginary friend, childhood treasures, and resurface. Like, you, this person makes you feel young again or younger. Draggling Garden, a new world is born. See? And then you have the mermaid and the turtle. An elder will teach you. Right? And then an unending sad. So, you got an el you got an older person around you. I don't know who the older person is, but they are very much a naysayer gossipy okay be careful of that around this person don't tell this person much of anything anymore because they're really like me debbie downer now are they right i don't know i don't see it as of right now i don't see that 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 it's right like that that they're right i think they're just being negative maybe maybe a little jealous maybe they're worried about y'all's what's y'all's relationship gonna be you see what i'm saying as possible too. Sometimes that happens. All right. 
well that's what i got for you pisces for the for this full moon in gemini i will be back with the runes zodiac signs and then guidance one second please all right i'm back for runes i'm gonna get one runes for each zodiac sign from aries to pisces spirit show me some aries to pisces please i'm sorry yeah aries to pisces one rune all right so aries you got okay marriage and things that are interlocked so um things that are kind of that are connected okay look for the connection between things but also too this could be talking about a marriage or a long engagement possibly okay all right taurus your runes is okay you got the wind there's winds of change upon you could be gemini Libra, aquarius here something is coming in blowing in for you that's going to shift and change a lot of different things for you okay all right um gemini okay can't remember what this one was did i have it over here i'm pretty sure i know what it is no that's not it Where is it? Well, let me just pick it up here. The Trinity, mind, body, and spirit. You need to get in alignment with something within yourself. Okay, Cancer. Okay, choose a direction. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? All right, Leo. star your wishes are coming true but choose a direction being divinely guided okay okay you have the moon in reverse leo so something or secret or secrets are coming out but you also need to make sure that you're listening to your intuition okay all right virgo you have the masculine energy going sideways really it's in reverse but it's going back towards the past virgo be careful and it's reverse for for it'll look different for you guys but this is you going back towards the past you don't live there anymore don't regress now go forward okay masculine or feminine all right um libra okay you have the scythe you reap what you sow but you're not trying to reap what you've sown like you're not trying to cut something off but what if you need to cut something off so something better can grow in its place all right scorpio okay you have the feminine energy i believe this is what this is stand in your power stand in your power Just don't give away to anybody all right sagittarius okay there's something that you're not seeing okay the all-seeing eye you're not seeing something, okay? Something is being hidden on your path right now. You're not meant to see it yet, okay? So trust that you're not meant to see it for a reason, okay? Capricorn. You have, okay, I don't know. I think this is like the Traveler or something, Scorpio. Because this is the feminine energy right here. Okay, so Capricorn, you have the feminine energy sideways marked towards the past. You're not in your power, you're giving your power back to the past and you don't live there anymore. Just like, what was it? Who was that? So Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, just like Virgo, Capricorn, you're giving to the past, not to the present or the future to cultivate a brighter future. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, you have the water. Get in your emotions or deal with the emotions of whatever this decision is that you have to make. You have to make it, but you need to make it more from a head over heart decision, although it will be kind of painful. Okay, so be prepared for that. And Pisces, last but not least. Okay, you also have direct. You have the directions, okay? Choose a direction, Pisces. Where do you want to go? While Cancer has the star of hope or being divinely guided here, you're being asked to just choose a direction. Pick one. But don't let anybody choose your direction for you. Okay? That's what I got for that. Now, let's see. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with but not limited to. Okay. Let's see. 
All right, who could, let me, hold on, let me put these up real quick. All right, let's see. Okay. Who is Aries potentially dealing with? Could be a Libra. That is your opposite sign, by the way. All right, Taurus, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, yourself or another Virgo, Let's see, Libra, who could Libra be dealing with? Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Oop. Cancer, as well. All right, Sagittarius, Virgo. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, who can you be dealing with? A Taurus, and Pisces, Aquarius, okay. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's do your guidance now. Uh, 50, 57, okay. All right, let's see. All right. Give me one uh, card of guidance, please, for each zodiac sign from Aries to Pisces, please, Spirit. One guidance, one card of guidance, please, for each zodiac sign from Aries to Pisces in that order, please, Spirit, for this full moon in Gemini cycle. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go. All right, so Aries, you got recharge moon crystals. You need to recharge your batteries here. You're running on low. Taurus, you got resolution. Okay, you need to come some, Taurus, you need to find some type of resolution here and then stick to it. Stick by and stick to it, okay? Um, Gemini, you got destructive magic. Are you doing chaos magic, destructive magic on people? Look at that photo. Look at that. Gemini, come on now. Come on. Self-destructive, destructing of everybody, causing chaos. All right. That's not good. That's going to come back on your head. I promise you, you are a cancer. You got transmutation. You're transmuting energies right now. That's good. That's good. Keep, keep doing that. All right. Or that's what you need to do during the uh, full moon. Leo, you got cultivation. What are you cultivating? Moon farming. What are you, what seeds are you planting, right? What are you cultivating? What what are you trying to build? Okay, think about that as you know the full moon. All right, Virgo, you got fate. Something is fated for you. So fate is at play for you. Okay, so whatever's about to happen is fated. All right, um, Libra. Fertility. Okay, you might be very um you know I don't know horny during the full moon or very fertile during the full moon, so be careful getting pregnant. Scorpio, you got repellent magic. You need to do banishing magic and protection magic in the full moon, okay? Scorpio, all right, Sagittarius, you got abundance. We got money and good luck coming in. That's what happy birthday. There you go, super moon. All right. Good job, Capricorn. You got potency. So whatever you're doing during this full moon, Capricorn, is going to be very quite potent for you. Be careful that it doesn't come back to you just as potent, though. Okay? All right, Aquarius, you got constructive magic. So you're building things. You're building up, building outward, building within. You're constructing things. You're constructive good magic, okay? All right, and Pisces. You got phenomenon. Oh, okay, what is that about? Harvesting a phenomenon. What is that about? Hypnotic. Be careful that somebody doesn't do love spells on you on the full moon. Pisces. To kind of trap your gaze, right? You see what I'm saying? Right? Okay. It's like weird. I don't know. Just pay attention to that. Or I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't do that on other people. But to pay attention to that. I don't know why I'm going to say that. Alright. Well, that's what I got for you guys. Um, Thank you so much. Sorry about it cutting into two videos now. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. Be on the lookout for my November giveaway. And um, the sell for December private personal readings the next time I go live. And I will talk to you later. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.